Welcome back to the plant, Kessel Plant Laboratory. My name is Josh Puckett. And today, Within this cube, we are growing five tomatoes, four of which are bush, early girl, and the one in the foreground here being a husky cherry red. The light treatment that you see is a mixture of purple and blue wavelengths. It's about the equivalent of 12 H150s and overall with the rotator includer consumes approximately 500 watts. The, the, the tomatoes that you see here are only six weeks old. We were experiencing flowering within two weeks of planting them at, from seedling at, with uh, only two pairs of true leaves. Flowering has continued if you can see in some of the tomatoes. The fruit production it has been very good in this both varieties, as you can see the cherry and the bush. Both started within three weeks of transplant and have continued until ripening. The reason for this cube, one reason, is to test the effects of increased intensity. We're noticing here that by increasing the intensity of the light treatment, we are accelerating plant growth as well as controlling the height to which the plants grow. This increased intensity may be what's responsible for the uh, good fruit production that we're seeing. And as you can tell, I can show you here, if you look down, the plants are utilizing the light very well. We have very dense growth, very thick stem. We're seeing uh, great surface area of leaves, none of them looking as though they are uh, light deprived, which gives us means good saturation all the way to the to the to the base of the plant. So by increasing this intensity, we're we're increasing stem size, leaf number, surface area of leaves, the height is staying the same, uh, staying smaller, and that's because uh, internode length, internode length being the the length we see between leaves here, the nodes of the plant, is is staying smaller, and that's giving us a stronger, more anchored tomato. No cages are necessary for these plants or bamboo poles. They're self self supporting themselves, and the nutrient flow from the roots to the top is is going well. So we're hoping that with this cube that we've given you a good introduction into the potential of LEDs. And so by using a cool light with low power requirements, we're able to provide to the plants a mixture of wavelengths within the PAR necessary for growth from beginning to end, as, as well as provide high intensities to which we can get good penetration and good uh, vegetative and fruit Hello. production. Due to o overwhelming interest, we've decided to add a segment to the previous YouTube video. We'd like to illustrate a husky cherry tomato that we've grown 100% of its life under our Kessel LED treatment. The light treatment included 12 purple and or 10 purple and two blue LEDs, H150s and the results that we got are very promising. We're, we're able to grow a stem that is incredibly thick and incredibly anchored. If you can see the root development, I'm picking the plant up just by its stem. We're seeing great flower production. The flowers are developing into tomatoes and continuing into a, into a healthy looking fruit. The leaves of the tomato grown under this treatment are particularly thick and very dark. People might not be used to seeing this under an HID treatment or a T5, but this is, this is pretty common amongst plants grown under LEDs. By catering specifically to the chlorophyll, we're able to increase the density that each leaf has, and that is partly responsible for the healthier looking plant. We're also not dealing with any heat stress that might create problems on the top. And using our Kessel LED, we're able to not only really get a healthy 
top to our plant, but also if you can see the penetration goes all the way through. So we'd like to just give you guys, if you didn't have the opportunity to make it to last weekend's Maximum Yield show, to uh, the experience to see the potential of our Kessel LEDs. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by again. Again, my name is Josh Puckett, and you can check out our product at Kessel.com. You can keep up with our forum at Monorad.com, and please keep tuning in to our videos at YouTube.com. Thanks again for coming.